हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम बैक टू अवर आई टी सेक्शन स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड चैप्टर फोर्थ यूजिंग द की बोर्ड सो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैड लर्न हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अब फोर्थ चैप्टर यूजिंग द कीबोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट डू यू यूज टू राइट इन योर बुक यस राइट पेंसिल और अ पेन एंड टीचर्स यूज अ चॉक टू राइट ऑन द ब्लैक बोर्ड बट वी कैन नॉट यूज अ पेन और अ पेंसिल फॉर राइटिंग ऑन अ कंप्यूटर we have to use the keyboard to write or enter the information a keyboard is used to type text and numbers into a word processor text editor or any other program it is one of the most commonly used devices used for direct input into the computer A standard keyboard has the keys classified into following groups. First type of keys. There are different types of keys on a keyboard. First alphabet keys. Second number keys. Third cursor control keys. Fourth, function keys. Fifth, punctuation keys. Sixth, symbol keys. Seventh, special keys. Okay, first, alphabet keys. It means alpha keys. There are twenty-six alphabet keys spread over. Three rows. How many rows? Three rows on the keyboard, which are arranged after the numeric keys. If you observe the alpha keys, the order is not in sequential alphabetical order. It is similar to that in electronic typewriter. You can type both small and capital letters using these keys there are two ways of typing capital letters first using the caps lock key and second using the shift key first using the caps lock key to type an alphabet in capital you can press the caps lock key once and ensure that the caps lock indicator light is glowing for example if you type computers it will appears as a capital letters on the screen in capital similarly if you want to type some words in small case press the caps lock key once again and ensure that the caps lock indicator light does not glow and now if you type computers the word will appears in small case it means small letters on the screen second using the shift key another way to type any alphabet or words in capital by using the shift key to type a name in capital press and hold the shift key and simultaneously press the keys like r i t a now this is a rita will appear on the screen second numeric keys on a standard keyboard there are two sets of numeric keys 
these kids are numbers from 0 to 9 and are used to enter numeric data one set of numeric keys is arranged above the alphabet keys to type any number you can place the number key as required for example if you want to type the number 1005 then place numbers 1 0 0 and 5 one after the other the number 1005 will appear on the screen in another set of number keys is on the right side of the keyboard these keys have arrows on them left right up and down num lock key num lock key is used to activate the numeric keypad located on the right side of the keyboard to type numbers the num lock should be on to use arrow keys and move the cursor for page up or page down or home and end the numlock key needs to be off. Third, special keys. Some keys have special functions. Each special key has a specific function to perform as a described below. First, delete key. If you type a wrong letter or word, by mistake, you can use the delete key. Delete key erases the letters or words after the cursor. If you want to delete a letter or word, place the cursor before the letter or word and press delete. For example, if you have typed computers, but this spelling is this spelling is wrong so place your cursor before the first m and press delete one m will be deleted understood okay now second backspace key backspace key is also used to delete a letter words or paragraph to delete any letter or word before the cursor, you can use the backspace key. Example, Swati has incorrectly typed the spelling of keyboard as a keyboard. Help her correct the spelling using the backspace key. First, place the cursor before O. Then press the backspace key. It will erase the letter A. So now correct the spelling mistake with the help of the backspace key. Now delete key. Using a delete key. First place the cursor before A. Then press the delete key and it will delete the alphabet A. So now correct the spelling mistake with the help of the delete key. Now third enter key. This key is used to move the cursor to the next line. Fourth spacebar key. Spacebar is used to insert space between words. It is the longest key on the keyboard. For example, if you want to type Sakshi Punjabi. So first type Sakshi and then press space bar key and then type Punjabi. Okay. Fifth key is a shift key. There are two 
shift keys on the keyboard. One on the left side and another on the right side. Shift keys are used for different purposes. To type capital letters. Example, to type my favorite book. Okay, then press the shift key. Hold the key and then type my favorite book. It will appear on the screen in capital letters. To type the symbols above each key. Observe the number key above the alphabet keys carefully. Each key has a symbol and a number on it. Yes, so there are many keys on the keyboard that have two symbols. For example, this key has two symbols. The number 5 key has percent, percentage above it. To type the number 5, press the key once. Okay, to type the symbol percentage, press the shift key. It means hold it and press the 5 key simultaneously. Next is the function keys. The topmost row of the keyboard has function keys. The function keys are from F1 to F12. Each key has a different function to perform depending on the software used at that time. Next, cursor control keys. A cursor is the blinking line on the monitor screen that shows the position where the next letter is to be entered. The cursor control keys are used to move the cursor on the screen in any one of the four directions that is up, down, left or right. These keys help to edit documents by placing the cursor at the right location. First, page up key. This key is used to move the cursor to the previous page. Page down key. This key moves the cursor to the next page. Home key. Home key moves the cursor to the top left corner of the screen and end key the end key moves the cursor to the right corner of the bottom of the screen next is a combination keys combination keys there are three types first control key second alt key and third escape key first is a control key this key is used as support key with other keys. This key combination with another key performs different functions depending on the program used. Second, Alt key. Alt key has a function similar to the control key. This key is combination with another key has different functions according to the software used. And third is the escape key. The escape key functions differs from software to software. However, the general use of this key is to current operation and revert back to the last working operations. So students, Everyone have understood the chapter? So students, tell me the types of keys. Yes, first is the alphabet keys. Second, number keys. Third, cursor control keys. Fourth, function keys. Fifth, punctuation keys. Sixth, symbol keys and seven
special kids very good so i hope everyone have understood this chapter using the keyboard thank you stay home stay safe